What is up everyone? It is a beautiful sunny day. The snow is melting in Michigan. I'm putting this receipt away. I got so many of these envelopes for, you know, next season tax time. I have some that are gonna be taxed this year, like, you know, do this whole thingy, tax deductible thingy. But anyways, got one to Indiana from Michigan. Um, I slept until about one o'clock and now it's 2.42. I'll have the details on this one more in a little bit. We're getting them, but uh, I'm heading towards that uh, area code for them. That place last night, um, when we hit him up, told him like, yo, he, I sat there five hours on detention. That's what it's called, being on detention. And um, like, I wanted her to sign the in and out time because I know that's serious when it's stuff like that. And she literally, I was like, oh, I need to put the in and out. And she just kept walking. I think she knew what was up. She knew she messed up. So anyways, $90 is good. Usually they do, they do $20, $20 per detained hour. So anyways, I'm gonna get on the road. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We are all loaded up. There were some nice, uh, Midwesterns. Um, it was funny, the dude came, he pulled up, he was the forklifter, he, his tire was getting low, it wasn't like flat or anything, but he pulled up and then I was backed in getting ready to be loaded any minute. And then he's like, oh, uh, he was like, oh, I got, I was gonna pump my tire quick in the shop. And then I was just like, that's cool. And then he's like, no, no, it's okay, I'll load you quick. That's Midwest for you. So he loaded me quick, I moved, and he's like, oh, thank you. I was like, dude, yeah, I mean, I don't want your tire. You need air in your tire, bro. But anyway, so now I know, we know how much it's for. It is 440 miles for $580. So we're getting to our goal. Our goal we've been setting now is profit 1200 a week. And that's not including, we're taking too much out in tax because we're doing that. So at the end of the year, that money just goes, replenishes us more, but that's our goal, 1200 a week. Cause we were freaking out doing all these other methods. Oh, I'm gonna go out a week. I'm gonna come back, you know, a week and then I'm gonna be local region. Like we were over, over analyzing it. Now we're just like starting Monday. I have the dentist Friday though. That's why this was clutch that we're already up to like $980 profit. But I'm gonna get on the road. But anyways, I'm just saying we just simplified it. Cause when you're starting this business, it's like you're so all over the place. And I have all these other phone numbers that I have to call cause there are other, you know, logistics brokerage firms that I found in Minnesota. That's the thing too, look them up. Just literally look them up. Like that's what I tell people, Google. And um, also, cause you get a carrier packet. Some just have you literally email your insurance, your DOT, your MC, you know, that's it. Like you just gotta get out there and it is awkward at first. I'm all like, I'm Muscle Cargo, you know, like, but you just gotta get out there. But anyways, speaking of getting out there, I'm getting on the road, I'm going to get this dropped off. So let's go. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully everyone's okay. Anytime there's something going on like this, I, I do some prayers like there has been, and I know this is stuff we see all the time, but just always pray for people, you know, when this is going on. I've seen, seriously, that's one, two, three. Here comes another fire truck. Oh, he's just pulling on the side and then another one's coming. Like, no, there's been like probably eight fire trucks and like 15 cops that went by. This is crazy, dude. Like, I don't know if vehicle blew up or what, but I always say a prayer that everyone's okay with whatever's going on. Uh, well, I'm gonna keep cruising. Only got six hours and 40 minutes left. Just thought I'd update you guys. This is uh, a little crazy. Hopefully everyone's okay. Let's keep rolling. Whatever this is, is what's going on. I mean, hopefully everyone's okay. Oh my God, glass everywhere. Uh, that's never a good feeling. 
Oh, hopefully everyone's okay. I don't see, there's been no ambulance. Oh, shoot. Oh my God, never mind. Well, saying a prayer again. Jeez. And that truck was involved. Oh my goodness. All right, everybody, just thought I'd show you what was going on. Hopefully everyone's okay. Well, we unloaded. The reason there was two different unloadings on those recordings is because, yeah, I had to go to one door and then to another door. So, anyways, it was, um, the second door was a little crazy, um, but it was definitely, big like, dude, such a big place. Like I said, I don't say the companies, but it was so big that, like, it's like its own world, finding the second door the first door i found easy and then the second door I, you know it was uh I, I asked like four employees like i tell you guys always i always just go straight away and ask people but all like four of them even when i went into one area that i wasn't supposed to the two security guards rolled up and they're beep 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 beep, beep and i just stepped onto my van and i was like i see that i'm not supposed to be here i pulled in like i didn't even pull fully in you know i stopped so I, you'd think they would understand but they, they were like two young cats too and then, then when I stepped out real quick and talked to them, they were all nice and stuff, but you could tell they were like showing that authority with that horn. And then, you know, you guys know how it is to be at a place with this many semis. There's probably like 3,000 semis here. So like, it's freaking brum, 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 people going all fast and crazy. And uh, the lot guys too, moving them around and uh, you know, a bunch of straight trucks. It was pretty busy, but we're all unloaded with both of them. That was good money. We've already made like $1,100 profit take home. That's after taxes and gas taken out in two days so i'm gonna get head towards chicago it's pretty far away but it's probably the best bet to start heading that way you know so that's the play so see what happens i'll get back to you guys tomorrow i might record before bed to start the next one because i like doing that too it's just sort of starting it with like going to bed duh, duh, duh. but anyways Thank you for watching. I really appreciate everyone. Seriously, thank you for watching. And let's get on the road. I'm, I'm, I'm out. You guys have a good day, good night, whatever it is when you're watching this.